morning, divas. I thought I'd show you how I organize my goodies. I have a an end table next to the chair that I diamond paint in, and on top of the chair I have a um, a lap desk, and that's where I put my easel with my diamond painting on it. It's an art easel, a short one, and I'll show you that at some point. But I wanted to show you today how I organize my goodies at my fingertips right next to my chair. So, I have the, these Lucite drawers. I got this at Home Goods probably last year. But they always had these Lucite boxes of some sort there. So I got a six drawer. I got a six drawer because I know what, knew what I wanted to put in it. I planned this ahead of time. But as you can see, it needs a clean out. It's stuffed. So let me take you drawer by drawer and show you my process. First, there are a couple things that don't fit in here. And I have a regular pencil holder with pens and pencils and a nail file and a little ruler and my bone folder and some erase, you know, like um, paper erase, that kind of thing, next to my chair because I'm always using pens and pencils too. So on top of that, I have stuck for convenience my most used tweezers. This one's a rounded tip one and I have a pointy tip one but that's with my project right now and for some reason I really like this white plastic one. I, you know, it really worked so that's a whole nother video. Anyway, I also have two diamond pens that don't fit in there. I don't use them often but this is a pink sparkly pom-pom one with a, an end on it, plastic end, and I use that. Okay, the pom-pom does not fit in the drawers, obviously, and he's short. This one's too long. <laughs> it has a gorgeous diamond on the top, and it has a nice brass tip on it, like the rest of them do. But they don't fit in my drawers, so something else that doesn't fit in my drawers is my little glue bottle and I have put Aileen's tacky glue, Aileen's uh, gem tack in it because every once in a while I have a popping drill that just does not behave and I will use a a pin, a sewing pin. I will open this and I will put the pin down in the hole there to unclog it because it does have a tendency to clog up. Ernst while here. And when it's open, then I can use it. Put the little silicone cap right back on it, and it's ready to use. I have that on top of it. I have a, a coaster for my hot tea that goes on top of it too. And two other things. Two other little things. One I keep next to here, next to this filming table, which is also my dining room table. I got a little tin from an Etsy shop, and I have put, when I keep the pink waxes, I stick them all in here. So I have a whole bunch of waxes. Um, let me see if I can, like, telescoot you in. I also have, um, the, the pink wax in one of these little tubs that I lost the cap to. <laughs> so to keep that fresh, I have to keep that in here. And I can't fit my macaroon in there either. The macaroon that came with, um, I forget which diamond painting they come with. Paint gem? Not sure. Anyway, there's pink wax in there too. Although that can dry out pretty fast, so. Anyway, just the macaroon was fun. So these two I have next to the uh, pencil holder. All right, so I'm going to wing you back out a bit and give you a general overview. It has six drawers, and the drawers I have lots of my diamond painting pens in. I'll go through some of them, too. This drawer I keep my anti-static dryer sheets. I keep them wrapped in a plastic bag so that they don't smell up everything. And I have some extra trays in here. Some white trays 
um, a black tray that my husband made me with a big funnel on the end. I keep two big white. You can even keep um, two of the big white trays in there. They fit. I'll show you that in more depth. And down here, I keep my stickers and some washi tape. And what else do I have in here? More washi tape. And this, I believe, is masking tape that I tape up the sides of the paintings with. All of these things kind of help me tape up the sides. Well, I'll go through them in, in more detail in a minute. <clears throat> Down here, I struggle to get them out because I need to clean this out. These are all my little baggies. When I'm kidding up or kidding down or that kind of thing, I put the little baggies in there. They don't all want to stay in there. So I have a big container, um, a big plastic box that I got at Dollar Store that I keep all the extra baggies in by size and that kind of thing. I can show you that too if you want. This, I have all kinds of little waxes. I have a battery and what else do I have in here? Some stickers, I think. But this is mostly for waxes. And in the top, I have a couple extra waxes, but it also has uh, a nail kit because I use my nails. They break all the time. Extra things, extra tips. And my wax crayons. And I'll show you all that in here. Okay? So let's go through the drawers. In between motorcycles and trucks and stuff. All right. In this drawer, this is the bottom, one of the bottom drawers. Like I said, I keep masking tape. This is a white masking tape. And I keep two washi tapes. One that was, they were both given to me through Craftably, I bet. When I um, bought from Craftably, they included these washi tapes in their kit. And I have lots of um, stickers that I use to put on the baggies or when I'm kidding up. I have strips of, well they belong the one above it, don't they? Yeah, they belong the one above it. Never mind. Never mind. More stickers. Kind of like taking out the trash here. <coughs> it's just too much. I have some round stickers, too, that I bought somewhere. I haven't used them as much. Uh, oh, this thing at Home Goods was $25. That's probably why I kept the little tag. I spent $25 on this Lucite box. And for some reason, I have extra pens that have the squishies on them. One has a long straightener on them. And I think, I don't know. Sometimes I cut them down to make them real short. But these are Diamond Art Club pens. They're clear and sparkly. And these are just extras to have on hand when I desperately need for one. I have two, like, value cards or gift cards, that kind of thing. When I'm doing, I don't know, drawing or journaling and I want a straight edge, I use these for straight edge. Sometimes I use them for washi tape. You put this down and then you rip the washi tape away and it gives you a nice straight edge of washi tape. So that's what I have these two for. They're just sort of sitting on the side. So the, that's my collection in the bottom drawer. That doesn't really need to be cleaned out. I'll put the extra pens down here anyway because I don't know where else to put them. And that fits. It fits just fine. <clears throat> the second drawer I have to sort out. So I do have the 
little pieces of the dryer sheets that I put in the baggies with the drills or strips and sometimes on the one hole dryer sheet fits perfectly in the 24 or 28 count box that have the strips with like four or five in a row that open I don't know why I have that pretty little bag in there. Yep, diet there's more strips. And believe me, if you use a scented kind, woo, you can really tell. That's the extra of that. I have more extra diamond painting pens in here. I'll show you them in a minute. <clears throat> a baggie with the sticker on that I don't need in this drawer. out here. Okay. A tray that has, do you keep the your drill pen in if you want. I like them, although I don't have an opportunity to use it very much. This is a little pot of blue wax. Why is that do, doing in there? Okay. These three were for a the dividers for a diamond painting tray. I think I got it in a blue one. What is this? They they went across it like this for to divide up the tray. This is not the right one. I can use that one though. Hold on. Then I can put it back in my drawer too. Whoops. And this is nuts. Right. A white tray. They're blue trays that look like this too. You put the dividers in here and you can keep three or four different kinds of drills in here at the same time. Like if you're doing confetti, <clears throat> this can go at the end so they don't fall out while you're using them. Can do a little or a lot they move around on your tray they came with a tray that i purchased i really like them i haven't used them in a while though I keep forgetting they're there All right. okay i like the wax the wax pens for drills and sometimes the wax tip like breaks off the end if i'm not careful with them and that's what this is. These are the wax tip pens. They're great to use for gems if you do not want to scratch the gems. They're wonderful. So I have those down here. I have another Diamond Art Club pen with a four placer on the bottom. I don't know why that's there. I don't need all these pens. <clears throat> All right, this can go in that little pot of pink waxes. This is like, this is the stopper for the end of this tray. It has a gate stopper on it. That's where that went to. This is a large placer for squares. You can place four, five, uh, four squares around the center one, so five in, in that square. Then when you take this off, you fill in the extra holes. Then you move it and you do it again somewhere else on the canvas. It's supposed to keep them nice and straight. Sometimes these are more pain than they're worth. But uh, I have it just in case I want it or need it. I'm cleaning out the little drills that decide to jump into the bottom of the thing. And these are more square stickers, so they belong actually in here. All right? They belong in here. There we go. I'm going to put the dryer sheets back. And the scissor trash. And the multi placer thing here. This is also a straightener that you see on some of those kits. You put them between the rows and, 
and straighten them out. This I like for rounds. The rounds fit better. It fits better between the rows of rounds and the squares. The squares like to get really uptight against each other. You can use the edge of one of these or the edge of a really uh, plastic, like the credit card, to go in between the squares. Sometimes it, they won't even let you do that. The squares are too tight together. <clears throat> so here are my favorite little trays in this drawer. I also have, like I showed you, my wax, some of my wax pens. And these are two I got, I don't even remember where I got them. But they're, they're in my unbagging, unwrapping videos, so I got them from a discounted place. The tips come off, the tips of the key come off. I don't need the little baggies with them, do I? Come on, you. So you can tell I haven't used them yet. And <clears throat> these are some of my favorite. They're from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. This is a short one. And he puts a, a, a like a two, two point straightener on the end. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you could see that or not. It's just a flat straightener. And the regular brass point tip on the other end. This one's also hand turned from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. And I love the purple and green colors in this. Absolutely love. This one you can replace the tips. For instance, I put the four placer because that's my favorite. And I wrapped some washi tape around it to make it stick in there tighter. And now, since the washi tape is dried up and put it out, it, and it'll go back in. I love this one. Love, love, love this one. I guess these two are in here for easy grab. <clears throat> I use them a lot. All right, so we have that drawer cleaned out. There's my pen drawer. This looks like it needs a clean out, doesn't it? I'm going to bring you in a little bit farther so you can see the details on the pens. Okay, so we have our keys here. I have another light blue pen with a squishy on it. And this is one of the thicker, it's like a three-placer, I guess, two or three-placer. Another one from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop with the permanent little straightener on the back. I love that one too. Um, this one I had, I cut down a sparkly pen and I put a plastic tip on it with the bent, the bent edge on it. I like the plastic edge. I've been trying to use these for gems as well. The plastic ends are for gems and sparklies because the metal ones scratch them. This was a pen I got from, with one of the companies. I think it was a freebie with one of the companies. And it had a, it may even be from Craftably, I'm not sure. Some of these I'm not sure. This one I know, I got from Diamond Painting with Donnie's shop. And it has a finger rest on the one end. And it's an ergonomic pen. They, this is awesome. I use this quite a bit. In fact, I'm going to put with the other two I use quite a bit in that bottom drawer since I need room up here. This one's just a fun one, a paintbrush that I got in gold. I may have gotten this at Donnie's shop too, I'm not sure. You can see that. This is another hand-turned pen. I have the Everlasting for placer on the end here, and I don't have a tip on it yet on the other end, but I use this one a lot. I use this one a lot too. I need something on the end here. It has my name on it, yay! <laughs> 
and uh, the brass tip on the end, but this can be replaced as well on this end. It's comfortable for a lot of the time, just not all the time. Another one of Jim's, short ones. Love that. I have one of Jim's handmade pens. I have in my giveaway, one of my giveaway things to come. Yeah. All right. Another one of the wax pens. This one I put a squishy on. Sometimes you can get a squishy on, but I think I broke the end of it doing that. I'm not going to wiggle it too much, but I like having a squishy on that. When I said I cut it off, cut off some of the sparkly ones short, if I'm working under a light or under a magnifying glass, I need something short underneath it so that the top doesn't bang up against the light as I'm trying to place drills. So I cut a couple of these short to do that with. This is a handmade pen. I know I unboxed it. I am at a loss now to tell you where it was from. But if I remember on all the pens that I don't remember, I will put a message. <laughs> you'll see a message right here that says where I got it. And I will link it in the description box if I remember. But this was one of those Fimo clays. I love the colors of this and it's so nice in my hand. It's not so slippery that you slip down when you're using it. And I don't need a squishy with this one. Okay. Another type of pen I have in here. This has the putty in it. It's like the blue putty, blue poster tack. That's what this is like. If I have some real stubborn ones or some gems as a plastic end, what you do is you keep twisting this top until you see some of the blue stuff come out the, the end. And then you can use it when it gets low. You just twist it again. You can see some of it stuck in the cap. <laughs> and then you can put a placer, some other placer on the back of that. And I have a deer. I can use that over the winter, I guess. It's got a lot of sparklies in it. Oh, from Star Ore. That's where I got this one. From Star Ore. Maybe you can see that. Okay. <clears throat> I have a little candy one. You pop apart. are some gold ones. This probably was from Paint Gem at one time. That one. These, the whole set of these. Light up. They have a light in them if I put the battery in. No, nope, not that one. One of them has the battery in. Yep. See, they light up. This is a thick multi-placer. These all light up. They don't have the batteries in them all. This is my two-placer. This has a regular tip on it. No, I don't have a battery in that one either. Or that one. So there are one, there are five of these. Another sparkly pen. Another sparkly pen, pen with the plastic placer on it. Another sparkly pen I cut short. Another wax pen. Another sparkly pen with the four placer on. Three pointy tweezers that I'm waiting. They, the ends bend on them sometimes, so I have to throw them out every once in a while. I keep all of these pointed tweezers because I love them sharp like that. And I hate it when they bend. Maybe I should put the tweezers in here. That would relieve some of the congestion. Another handmade pen. This one came with, this is really cool. It has a two-placer on the end, 
but it's two separate points. Do you see that? And I know you're going to be curious as to where I got that, so I'll have to find that one. Okay, these are all extra tips that for some reason I have in here. And I don't need the tips in here. Here's another one that lights up. It's red. This one goes on the end of one to protect the edge, and here I don't have it. All right, the squishies go up here, too. All right. These came with the Diamond Painting Company. And again, they're just pretty plastic swirly things. They kind of look like um, calligraphy pens, like ink inkwell pens. This one is really cool. It has a little twist to it. it has a square. I bet that's where that square tip goes. Yep, that's where the square end goes. All right, I have this one with the crystal butterfly. And this one is supposed to be for squares. I just recently unboxed it. It has a square type tip on the end. Instead of a round one, it looks like it's there for squares. I haven't tried it yet, but I will since I'm on a square painting at the moment. And this one. All right, I have nothing in it. Goofy. I don't need the box if I'm not keeping anything in it. This had a whole bunch of little placers. But that's not where I keep the placers. I don't need this box. It's taking up room. All right. So, can I fit all these back in? Do I need to fit all these back in? goes on top because it doesn't sit on the bottom. doesn't lay flat either. Short ones, they go in. These other pens, they go in. <clears throat> it's just fun to have these things around. There we go. It's not quite so bulky anymore. I like that. These two can go sideways. Short one in here. I, oh, this has a. I like the plastic end on this. Take out the multi placer. Take off the multi placer. And the squishy. I can take the tips off of those two. And anyway, here we go. Oops. And my wooden pen in there, too. That's nice and easy now. I can get in and out of that drawer easily. Now, the bottom of these drawers. Let me see. If I have too many bags in them, they get stuck together. So, here I have a bag. I don't know why I still kept this. in it. When I cut apart some of the drills, sometimes I just stick... Oh, and that's broken even, so forget it. Okay. This is a little baggie of little baggies. Come on now. Tiny ones and bigger baggies. I'll pull you out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing now. You know what a baggie looks like up close. Alright. <clears throat> These are like three by fours, I think. Teeny tiny one. Normal one. Well, these came with some special drills that I purchased. I like that size too. These are same size. These are a little bigger ones. I like to reuse my baggies. Here I put a few of those um, dryer sheet pieces in here. 
because this is where I will use them with, but that's not where they go. They go in here. All right, and I just keep label. I just keep putting a new sticker over top of them, and using them that way. Okay. Oop, they're a little bigger than those. Yeah, these are a little bigger. They might be the really good Dimer Club ones. Okay. That's this middle size here. <clears throat> More dryer sheets. Oh. And this I have. This is one of those. You put it over top of your, on your light pad. You put it over top of the area that has the button, the on off button. This will sticky pad itself to the actual light pad and then you lift that up you click it on and off and you put it down over top of it so that you won't accidentally bump it this I got from my 3d designs from Etsy my 3d designs okay so it was 3d printed this is from Dan Weeks is the owner and Let's see. Yeah, the Etsy shop is my 3D designs. So I have this one when I get a new light pad. I have to remember it's down there, so I'll put it near the front. Yum, time for some tea, liquid refreshment. Okay, these are a lot of the Dimar Club, Club size. Yeah, they are the bigger ones. They are not used, so I'll just put them all together. I have two bags of them, and I still have Dimar Club kits to go through so I can get the baggies out of them. Sometimes I use a whole lot of them, especially if I'm not going back in like I should and de-kitting the way I should. But if I don't do that, then I wind up using a lot of them. Some of them rip. The top rips right along the edge and come on. Some of the baggies, the top will rip right along the edge so they get thrown out. If they're used too much, they do. Okay, come on. Get the air out of the baggies. Okay. Now these are used, but they're still good. Used and still good. Put them in this little baggie. I don't know why I need extra baggies for them. You know what? No, forget it. I'm just gonna put these in here. See, I I have indecision a lot of times too. Okay, and it looks like I'm putting all this back. <laughs> it's going to be tough to get in and out of the drawer, and no matter what. Okay? But I compressed them again. So they should be alright. 